Welcome back you guys to the second episode of the Dreamy Indian. Last week we spoke about intellectual mafias, the selective rage and Lely, left liberals. Remember Lely, I'll be using this word a lot today. Today we'll speak about you and me, the unoffended right Indian who has been ignored for far too long by far too many. Our narratives have been hijacked and we've been ignored. But who are we? Argumentative yet docile, intelligent yet quiet, inquisitive yet accepting. This is who we are in a gist. Now let's dig deeper, shall we? First things first, how important is religion for us? It's not. We don't get up every day and think about religion, neither ours nor of anyone else's. But we do go to a religious place when our mother asks us to and happily so. But as against what is propagated by Lely, we have never heard about Manusmriti, ever in our lives. In fact, Twitter told us that a book like Manusmriti exists, our families didn't. And now that we know about it, we don't want it to be burned, much like any other book. So here is a joke, Lely number one, we should burn everyone who is talking about Manusmriti. Lely number two, yes we should, Lely number three. Wait a second, the only people talking about Manusmriti is comrades. So let's not burn our own comrades, you fools. So coming back to us, we don't care about religion one bit. And what else do we like? We are ambitious, hardworking, and we all love technology. We also think capitalism with restraint can fix things. We hate the very word NGO in all its connotations. But we do feel Bill Gates is the biggest philanthropist and we should follow him. What he did as the co-founder of Microsoft and how he's scientifically fixing malaria now. So yeah, he's our hero and we have no qualms about it. We also Netflix and chill. And with fitness bands in our hands, we dream to get fit. Whether we get to chill or fit is a different question altogether. Now coming to India, we are patriotic to the core but we are not nationalists. We just don't mind standing for national anthem, in theatres or anywhere. And we don't need a court order for that, or a beating for that matter. We do it rather happily and proudly. And as a matter of fact, some of us actually cry when we see the Republic Day Parade. And no, it's not jingoism. And we don't do it on Twitter. We wake up early on a chutti day, watch the parade on our TV screens, and cry with immense pride in the corner of our bedrooms when our jawans do the incredibly brave stunts. And we also cry when India wins a match. So you see, we are proud like that. As far as our political affiliations are concerned, we detest all things left. But does that mean we love Modi? Yes and no. We love him when he makes sense. We don't when he goes barsak. We don't follow a Lal Salam cult, you see. We are not impressionable like that. We know what is right for us. We like the fact that Modi worked hard to get what he got as we hate everything about dynasty. And we were never fools to think that he would wire 15 lakh rupees in our accounts. And we don't even need that. We take him with a pinch of salt. But we also know that we are not spoiled for choices. And in our optimistic world, we dream about Achhe Din, with Modi or without Modi. And now the most important question, which has taken over our TV screens. What's our take on Gau Mutra? Oh, we know it is powerful, but we don't drink it. At the same time, we don't want the innocent Gau Mata to be killed. Our love for animals is not restricted to just cute dogs and cats. We are not elites like that. And we have a funny bone too. But when people like Kunal Kamra try to be aggressively funny, we don't enjoy their jokes. But do we make a big deal about it? No. Because why bother? We can also see the bluff of Bollywood guys with a selective outrage and hidden agendas. But we don't care about them. We are too busy making a livelihood to think about them. And unlike them, we do pay our taxes on time. We even plan to do advanced taxes every year, though we don't understand the first thing about Form 16. We also don't mind paying Swaj Bharat says if it makes our beloved motherland clean. And we are happy that highways are getting constructed in this country. 
a small highway here, a clean road there, that makes us excited. And more than any festivals, long weekends make us happy. We don't burst crackers, but we find it odd that Priyanka Chopra thinks about them only during Diwali and not when she is getting married herself. Hypocrisy? Similarly, we don't believe that any man can produce that much semen that he can fill them in balloons during holies. But we leave these biology lessons on the ilk of student leaders of JNU and DU. Yes, this is who we are. Too big to be boxed, too smart to be caged. My dear viewer, we are you and you are us. Collectively, we are the unoffended right Indian. And now that you have come this far, like, share, subscribe News Bites. And next week, we'll discuss the elephant in the room, the elections.